The Tampa Museum of Art was designed by Stanley Sadowitz of Natoma Architects. Sadowitz is an internationally renowned, California-based architect. Completed in 2010, the museum is 68,000 square feet and cost $26 million to design and construct. This museum is a contemporary, minimalist design floating on a glass pedestal. The building is designed as a container to house works inspired with vision. The museum hovers in the park, a hyphen between ground and sky. The museum's facade displays an LED installation created by Leo Villarreal. According to Sadowitz, the aim of the museum design was not for the building to be a work of art or sculptural object itself. It was designed to be a container or treasure chest to be filled with art. It is a beautiful but blank container, a scaffold, to be completed by its contents. The building floats in the park, embracing it with its overhanging shelter and reflective walls. It is a hovering abstraction gliding above the ground. The building is not only in the landscape, but is the landscape. It reflects the greenery, shimmers like the water, and flickers like the clouds. It blurs and unifies, making the museum a park, the park a museum. The building is divided in the center with public galleries on one side and administration on the other. The 40-foot cantilever roof provides a magnificent porch for the city. The walk along this porch, flanked by the park, focused on the river, leads to the lobby. The procession through this quiet and levitating space is the preparation for viewing art. The building is noted for its perforated metal exterior. By day, light reflects on the surfaces. By night, light emanates from the surfaces. In 2011, the design was honored in the annual American Architecture Awards.